Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's episode, I wanted to cover the frequently asked questions that I get when people find out that I carry a lighter or Zippos, but lighters in general. Now the, the number one question that I often, that I get as soon as people see that I have a lighter is, why do you carry one? Well, to answer that, um, Zippos or lighters in general have a ton of uses. So uh, I carry one because they're they're a very useful tool. The question that really you know comes up right after that is, do you smoke? And the answer to that is no. No, I don't smoke. I don't smoke cigarettes, cigars, anything really, um, or vape for that matter. I I I don't like smoking at all. But uh, lighters aren't just for smoking, so no, uh, but they're really useful and that's why I carry them. And right after that, usually people go, oh, so you're some kind of a survivalist like Bear Grylls. Well, why don't you carry a ferro rod? Well, to answer that question, ferro rods are very robust, especially one if you got like a, one of these that has a magnesium on the back. The way this works is you get a knife you get a knife and then you sh scrape a pile of magnesium down probably about the size of a coin then you hold this using the spine of the knife you throw a spark on it and that magnesium will light up and it will burn really nicely the problem with that is let's say somebody says hey uh, do you mind lighting this cigarette or do you mind turning on these candles you have to build a little campfire with this thing to do that task and that would be kind of inconvenient you can't just tell your friend here hold your face I'm gonna throw a bunch of sparks at you catch it on your cigarette you know so no I don't carry a ferro rod um, you know daily my EDC is usually either a clipper like this or uh, one of my zippos over here one of these three is usually what I carry and I'll go over them right now now these questions that I get the following that I'm gonna go over are usually pertaining to Zippos so let's go over that so when people see you have a Zippo as opposed to the mundane little clippers or, or even a, a big lighter like this one people are familiar with those but when they see you have a Zippo they always ask how often do you fuel it and that also well that depends on a few things uh, it usually depends on how often you use it and also uh, the the ambient air temperature because if you fuel up a zippo like this one was fueled a, a week ago i'm confident that it might not reliably fire up it's trying and the problem that arises with zippos sometimes is that the fuel will just run out of it as it's just sitting on the shelf so you have to be mindful of that now there is a way around it namely like this this is a this is a lighter that i've made a review about you could go check it out in my other videos this is a, a zippo brand butane insert that gives you a nice jet flame see and this you could fuel and leave it on the shelf for a long long time and it would not evaporate because it's pressurized inside or you could get a vector this one produces a fire like a light that's you know more natural looking to what a zippo would would produce and I also have a review on the Vector as well. You can go take a look at those. And I highly recommend those uh, inserts if you're going to uh, fuel it, fuel your lighter and leave it somewhere. Now, I also get asked this question, which I think is kind of odd, is what if you lose it? Well, um, I wouldn't be happy, I'll tell you that. But I usually carry lighters that I am not to say willing to lose but I wouldn't be 
I wouldn't be really really sad like I, I told like like this lighter has a has a bunch of sentimental value because my friend found it so somebody lost it and my friend found it and gave it to me uh, this one was uh, I think I bought it from uh, some store it was either Rite Aid or Walmart or something so rather cheap and this one was from a tobacco shop so these are not to say expendable but they are replaceable so I don't carry heirloom pieces so yeah and when I mention that I don't carry heirloom pieces people say well do you have a co do you have a collection and to answer that question yeah I do have a collection uh, it's not a vast collection but a collection nonetheless and um, yeah it's ever expanding uh, I'm gonna get a nice showcase and start putting them in there so it'll be nice to see see what I have what I think of getting I might make a video about that if you guys would like when it comes to Zippos people will sometimes also ask if I do any tricks and to answer that question no I used to do some tricks in the beginning when I first got into Zippos but I kind of dropped that it was not something that I really liked some people are big into tricks they can you know do like literally like aerial throw the the lighter up in the air flip it open and snap and it's lit when they catch it i don't do any of that and when it comes to that maybe i should go over a small um like etiquette thing if it's of any use personally i think if if i ever you know see someone with a zippo and i, I ask them about it and they hand it to me i never ever do any tricks I usually what I do is I look around, look at the design if it's front and back, which is, you know, kind of rare if you have one that wraps around. So I kind of like to see those. It's like, oh look, this one's got a wrap around design, and then I'll check the date. And sometimes, ever sometimes, I might just open it up, and usually I'll ask the guy, hey, look, is it cool if I fire it up? If not, that's it. I hand it back. I don't like it when people say, oh, can I take a look at that Zippo? And you hand it to them and they start just fidgeting and doing all kinds of tricks. Don't do that. To me, that's the equivalent of, you know, asking your friend, hey, can I borrow your car for a second? And then you get in and you peel out as you leave, you know, <laughs> or you do like a drift going around the corner. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't like it. Again, these are the ones if they do break I'm not gonna get into you know an argument with someone I'll be like hey you know whatever so there's a question of cost too how much do Zippo lighters cost well that depends what Zippo you want this one for example was I think like $15 or so from from I think it was Walmart if I'm not mistaken so relatively cheap this chrome one the street street chrome finish from the tobacco shop was I think twenty dollars or something it was a smaller mom and pop shop so they kind of mark up the prices this one was free because my friend gave it to me but the prices vary they go anywhere from 10 15 to 30 40 and then you got the specialty ones which are more expensive and Zippo has a line of uh, precious metal lighters that come in sterling silver and even a 18 karat solid gold one which is I think around twelve thousand dollars according to their website but that would be definitely a heirloom piece for me I would not carry that one around I wouldn't even fuel it I'd keep that thing in a safe let's go over some pros and cons of, of um, Zippos and lighters in general um, I should probably say mostly Zippos one pro of Zippos is the fact that they look cool. They're a conversation piece, you know, so if you ever use it, people see it and they'll, they'll talk about it. You know, they're like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool, you know, when, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a nice little lighter you got. The flip side of that, it, it does tend to grab attention. And the reason that kind of is a con as well is because people often assume you smoke. So they come up and ask you for a cigarette and when you tell them you don't smoke, they think you're just trying to not share a cigarette with them which kind of makes you makes you become the bad guy you know so that's sometimes a con as well you know that's the that's a negative of it another pro i can think of is mountaineers claim that 
Zippos tend to work better at higher altitudes than your average butane lighter and that they're more robust. Uh, I'm not a mountaineer, I wouldn't know, but um, yeah, that might, that might be something. The con of that is, again, the fuel evaporation. So if you're ever considering of taking it up to a, an expedition, I'd say, you know, maybe carry it really well fueled or maybe carry some spare fuel with you. Um, another pro is the fact that Zippos are often uh, windproof, whereas most, you know, butane lighters are not. Now this next point where it's a con is not exclusive to Zippos, but to all, uh, to all lighters that use a little f flint to strike on. These flint, I guess you could say the, f the ferro flint that is inside that produces the spark, those sometimes will start to corrode. And I've had lighters that have corroded to the point, and the, reason, the way you'll know it's corroded is when you turn this wheel, you'll see that it has like this gray residue. I think this big over here has some. If, you, if we can get it to focus, do you see that? gray residue on the little red button that that is the uh, flint corroding away and they can corrode to the point where the wheel can get seized to it so that is one thing to keep in mind you got to keep these lighters in a dry place or the ferro rod the ferro striker will start corroding another thing to keep in mind is that zippos can be used as an emergency um, you know a fire source even when they're out of fuel you can easily open this up take out the insert pull pull aside this felt this would be easier if you had some sort of a tool get a sharp pick and pull out some of that rayon from the bottom make a pile of rayon and then strike it on with your wheel and then you know get your tinder to work with that and the best pro of Zippos in my opinion is the fact that they're made in America they're made right here in the United States in pencil Bradford Pennsylvania and they have a lifetime warranty uh, if, if they ever break you send them back they'll repair it and send it back to you uh, free of charge you only pay the shipping and that's and that's it now with all that being said um, I, I'm, I am going to do a little bit of a lighter recommendation. If you are co going to carry a EDC lighter, I would highly recommend for it to be like a fuel and forget type of lighter. Is I would say get one of these butane inserts if you want to go classic. The Zippos, you know, the original Zippos are great, but you got to always keep in mind every morning when you want to put it in your pocket, check to see if it lights up reliably. But these butane ones, you'll know they'll light up when you need it. But other than Zippos, I'd say these Bics are good. They're disposable because once they're out, there's no way to refuel them. You just throw them away. But uh, Clippers are better because they are refuelable. I noticed that I made a mention of it in a previous video. And one of my viewers commented that Clippers are not technically disposable because they're refuelable. But they're really cheap, so... I would buy like a dozen of these and if they ever go missing I wouldn't even bat an eye just grab a next one and the cool thing is that these come out the little striker comes out so if this part ever breaks I would suggest hanging on to this so you have a little like little um, little uh, fire starter kit you can just put this in the Altoids tin with some uh, cotton balls and you have yourself a little fire starter kit really cool thing clipper has also started coming out with these smaller ones or they might have had them for a while this fits much better in the pocket and and also if you want to go with something more stylish that exact clipper comes clad in this little metal sleeve uh, that I've been carrying and it's kind of gotten burnished let me see if I can get it out of there let's push this thing of course you have to push the tail end and this comes out see it's the same just a hollow shell but it looks kind of cool no 
so these would be great EDC lighters any of any of these here excluding the um, the original Zippo which you would have to check for fuel then it would be also a good EDC but if you want a lighter that you can put in the pack and forget I would suggest getting one of these uh, pre-packaged Zippos it's sealed against moisture and it'll be fine it shouldn't have any lighter corrosion but I would definitely suggest adding a ferro rod to a, an emergency pack because if you need a fire in an emergency there's no way to get around this or a, or a little box of storm matches with all that being said let me know what you think in the comments if I, if I missed any questions if you have any questions about lighters let me know if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up consider subscribing sharing the video and i will see you next time have a great day